Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, November 12th, 2020. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. You'll notice here that the ES has traded within a narrow three day range. Uh, or entering its third day here of this narrow range. The last two days so far inside day at the moment and this is all happening below the midpoint here of that significant top that developed uh, a few days back. And again this top was on the day of the announcement of the vaccine and we had a very strong top that developed at that point and price dropped back below 3600 and that 3587 which is the key range high and I mentioned before that's the important zone above and if price can't really get back above that area there is the potential to drop into the midpoint of this impulse move which is 3446 half again right now at the moment we are seeing a, a modest push higher here but we're really just in a narrow three-day range and that could easily break in either direction. So really, price needs to start getting back above 3580, especially that 3580, 85, 87, in order to start pushing this thing higher. Otherwise, uh, we're still at risk of seeing that downward correction here into the midpoint of that range. Here's a look at the NQ. You'll see right here the NQ has looked bullish here in the near term we noticed uh, that this one had pulled back much more sharply than the broader market here. Tech got hit a bit more on this pullback. And so we looked for a bounce back opportunity over the last day plus, and we're seeing that right now. As a matter of fact, we're almost back to the 12K level. As we mentioned before, by taking 12K offered here, it was an indication that we might head back to the midpoint of the range, which was 560 and then see a shot to go across the range toward 11k. The first target was hit very quickly and now that we're pulling back here any lower high into 12k could be a retest for a push into back to 560 and into that 11k lower level. Again right now we're still inside this large trading range here and until prove, uh, proven otherwise we're likely flowing to the downside above acceptance back above 12k could change the scenario all right let's take a look now at crude oil now with crude oil we saw a significant rejection in the previous session when we looked at it in the morning price was well above 42s had just hit 4306 it looked very bullish however I mentioned you have to start looking for signs of rejection at these highs. We had higher high takeout here. We've had an expanding range develop here. And what I mentioned in our room yesterday is the fact that we rejected those prices so sharply and closed back below the previous month's low was indicative that we were likely headed back to not only the 40 level or 39 level, but into the 38-35 level. That's the midpoint of this month's range. We've had a very strong low on the first trading day of the month. We rallied and took out highs. Now we have a strong high. We could be snapping back to that 38-35. So I've lowered the downside target from the 39-40 to 40 zone down into 38-35. And the entry point was anywhere into 42 and as high as that yellow dot right there. So basically a 42 entry zone or thereabouts for a shot at returning back toward 38.35. Uh, any failure to stay below that mid on a daily closing basis negates that idea because at that point we likely expand to the upside. So basically the risk is this yellow dot on a closing basis. But for the most part, if price can't stay back above 42s, we likely snap back to 40 quickly, 39 quickly, and again, that midpoint is just below at 38.35. So the idea is that the next three to five days may be lower. All right, let's take a look here at, lastly, gold futures. Gold right now is up six-tenths of a percent. It continues to hold at lows. We had a significant sell-off a couple of days ago where this thing dropped tremendously. Uh, now, that was a failure to hold above the previous month's high, failure to hold above 1950, and that was on the vaccine news. 
Now again, we're still holding at these lows which have offered several good bounce opportunities, each one to new highs. Right now we have a three day narrow range at these lows. It's building up energy for a big move here pretty soon. For the most part, we're starting to show signs of strength here off the lows. As a matter of fact, there is a buy signal developing in the 60 minute time frame with about 17 minutes as of this recording point right now to finish. But for the most part, if it can start getting back above the 1874 level, we have a shot to really get going to the upside. It really needs back above 1885. And at that point, we're likely bouncing not only back to 1907s, but likely to new highs into 1981.7. We, we look to be in this kind of expanding range here. So we could be looking at a bounce back up. Now here's the deal. If we fail to hold 1850 on a, on a closing basis, if this thing takes it out, then we're likely opening it up back to the 200 day and that 1800 level. So that could be a very quick decline if this move doesn't get underway very quickly. So right now, looking for a breakout from this three-day narrow range. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.